Hello friend, welcome back. In our previous video, I have already discussed about that things with you, how you can design your product space. So right now we don't need this, I just remove all the things from here. So here I have designed our index page. So now I want to do, I want to get all the data from our database table and display it in particular that area. Okay. So if you want to do that work, then you first of all better I want to do, I want to put some of the insert some of the data. Okay, so here I define that name as a like product name as a t-shirt and then product code. I just define some of the product code and then the details. So I just put some of the details. Okay, better I just put some of the demo text. Like for now I use it. So I just simply use some of the demo text. So I just simply define some of the demo text and also for the logo I just simply now I just name it as a logo dot png right now I just simply defining it so literally we'll insert it from our insert page so I just simply add some of the data click on the go go to the structure and there is a browse here I just simply insert some of the data so here I insert it manually so literally I will insert that data from our Page that means from here okay we will create another page for this one so now i want to do i want to read all the data and display that data dynamically in particular that area so right now that's all that our static data so i want to display it so if you want to display it first of all you have to do you have to work in our model area like if you go to our model i have already created one of the model so that is our model i have created as a our product so for the product i want to define all that our field as a fillable that is our default like i have to define that protected so i just simply copy it we have to do the same things in our particular data area so i just simply paste it so for the product i have defined all that our field so i have defined that field name if you go to that structure i define the field name as a product name so i just simply define that field name as a product name will be as a fillable and also the product code will be fillable so i just simply define that product code and then the details will be fillable and also i need another one so i just simply copy it okay in the last one we don't need this so here i have another field as a logo so i just simply copy it and i just put make the things every field as a fillable okay and now we have to do we have to get all the data from our database table so now we have to work in our controller that means our product controller so that is our index method so into the index method first of all i want to do i want to define i want to get all the data first of all i take one of the variable as a product i take one of the variable as a product and now i define as a db and the table and from which table you want to get all the data so now you have to define the table name so I just simply define the table name as a products because I want to take all the data from our products table right into the products table they have all the data so I want to get it so I just simply added our table name so I just simply define the TB table and the products and I want to do I want to get all the data so I just simply define that get all so now friend I get all the data from our wish table from our products table and I just take all the data into this variable, right? So we have to pass all the data in our index page. So if you want to pass it, then you have to define that things with the compact. So I just simply define that compact. And now into the compact area, I get all the data from our products table and take the things with this variable. And now I just simply pass that variable in particular that area, right? So now we can actually access it in our index page. And also here I use the DB so we have to use that it so I just simply define that use the DB and also I make that things as a productable that is that means our model so that the model we have to also use it that is in our app and that is our product model so now we have to also defining it so here I define that use sorry I just define that use in our app in our app folder that is our model name product so I just simply define our model name. Perfect. So now I have to do, I have to visible it in our index page. So now go to our index. That means the product and the index. So that is our product folder and that is our index page. 
so now you can see that is all that your static data so right now i want to do i want to make the things as a dynamic for if you want to do that work then first of all you have to define all the for each so i just simply define as a for each so friend that is actually the main core things okay so if you actually better understand that code then then i think in laravel is very much easy for you so now i just define as a for each and also after that so here i have to do i have to and that for each so i just simply and for each i just simply added that and for each and here i get all the data right i get all the data and take the things with this variable and i just compact it with this product and now i can access it in our index page so now we can access it with this product so now go to our index page in our for each here I just define that our products because I get all the data with this variable and I just name it as another variable so I just name it as a pro okay so with this pro I now I want to do I want to visible all that our field name like that is our product name so here first of all I want to with this pro I want to display our field name that is a product name so for the product name in our database table our field name as a product name right so now I just simply define all that field like that is our product name. So I just simply define that product name. And also I have to define the same things for the product code. So I just simply define that product code. And then that is a product code. That is our product code. So I just copy it. And here I just name it as a product code. And then our details. So for the details field here I define our details field. So with this pro, I want to display our field name. That means the field as a details. So I just simply define the details. For the images, I just put the things as a blank right now. Okay. So that's all you have to do, friend. So now if you click on the save all. And now if you refresh it, like here, that is our page. I just refresh it. Yes, you can see now every field is now become dynamic. So all the data is now comes from our database table. You can see that is our database, all the tab field. So that is all the data. There is a t-shirt, there is a product code and the details. So everything is now perfectly getting all the data dynamically from our database table. And now it's display in particular that area. So now I am inserted that data manually in particular that area. So literally I will also create the create page and from our create page, I will insert all the data. Okay. So better I want to put some of the white for every field then it will be better like I just put some of the white. So here I define that white and for this page so that means the product name I just define as a 150. Okay I just define as 150 pixel and better I just define that for everyone. So that is our action. And for this um, actually that is actually our details is little bit bigger sizes because here they have some of the details information. So I just put the things as a 200. Okay. I just put as a 200 for this one. And then I just put the logo. I just define as a 100. And for the action better for the action I just define as a 2. Okay. I just define as a 280. And now let's check this out. I just click on the save all. So here I define some of the white for every our T head. That means here, if you now refresh it, yeah, you can see it's not perfect. So I just put some of the white for the product name, the product code, the details, that is our product logo and some of the action. So friend, we successfully read all the data and display that data in particular that area. How much easily we did that work, I think is very much clear to you. So right now I didn't add our logo, that means the images, so I will do that things later. And also if you want to add some of the limitation for these details, you can also do that work. So step by step friend, I will show you each and everything with live example. So in our next video, I want to do, I want to work for our create page. So I want to design first of all our create page and then I want to insert all the data from our create page to our, our database table. So how can do that work in our next video, I will show you that things with the live example. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.